Hello everyone, welcome to this complete, unique and unrelated video to my regular stuff. I am going to be predicting the biggest sport event on Earth, which is coming up next month, the FIFA World Cup. There are 32 nations involved, your country is very likely to be one of them, possibly. Um, and only one of these 32 countries is going to eventually be crowned the FIFA World Champion. Um, which is huge to a lot of people. If you are afraid that this is going to come at the cost of my regular Bond content, don't you worry. This is just a little bonus video in between, uh, free of charge that I'm doing for those interested. Um, my regular Bond content will be up on Sunday as usual. The next video is already in the pipeline. So don't worry about that. Um, so... There are eight groups here, and in every group, only two countries will advance to the round of 16, where a knockout stage will happen all the way up to the final. So we're just going to go start at the very beginning in group A, uh, the group that my country, the Netherlands, uh, was drawn into. And I think we got very lucky uh, because you get drawn into one of the countries that is considered a top-seeded country. Uh, and we could have gotten England or Argentina or Brazil or Portugal, but we got Qatar as the uh, top seeded nation because they are the host nation. And I think that's probably the best one we could have gotten. So we got very lucky this year. Finally, we often were in the groups of death. I don't believe we are this time. However, it's not going to be a walk in the park. I do believe Qatar, despite being the host nation, uh, won't make it out of this group. But Senegal and Ecuador are definitely dangerous sides. Uh, Senegal being the African champion, uh, currently considered the strongest African team uh, that is taking part of this. So I definitely believe Netherlands could take them, but definitely will struggle with Senegal. This could go either way. Um, but I will say Netherlands will come up top of this group, followed closely by Senegal. Uh, and then Ecuador, and unfortunately Qatar is going to follow the footsteps of South Africa of being uh, one of the few host nations to not make it out of the group. Um, there might be controversy involved. They you know, m might get lucky penalties, maybe. You would hope, obviously, all the referees are completely objective here, but you'll never know. Some They have home advantage. This could go very differently than what I'm saying here. Maybe Qatar do make it out of the group. It's going to be exciting to see how it involves, unfolds. But I think this is the most logical um, prediction to go by. So, Group B. England, Iran, USA and Wales. And I think... This is a group where all four countries have everything to play for. All countries are very close to each other in terms of quality. Uh, I do believe England is of higher quality than the other three. Um, some of my English viewers may be more pessimistic. They're not that optimistic about Southgate at the moment. And I do think they have what it takes to not only win this group, but win this group with nine points and defeat the other three nations in every single group game they are involved in. However, second place, Iran is highly underrated and underestimated. Uh, the USA has a young squad, not necessarily a big football nation. Uh, I don't believe a lot of American viewers will necessarily be even interested in the FIFA World Cup, but they are there. And Wills also is a quality team, especially with Garrett Bill, uh, which I do believe might even snatch the second place for them. Um, now, USA could also get the second place, and so can Iran. This is such a hard group to predict. I'm going to go with an upset with Iran and USA, unfortunately, with their young team coming in last. I think they'll do a lot better next World Cup when they're also going to be the, the host nation uh, together with Canada and Mexico. Um, and it's going to go like this. But I, I do believe it's going to be close. A lot of these countries will draw with each other probably. It could go either way for second place. It may as well be USA in second or Iran. Very hard to predict. I'm going to go with this though. <clears throat> Group C, I think the winner is... Just like Group G, 
the only groups I'm pretty confident in the winner that it's going to be Argentina. Um, Argentina at the moment undefeated for a, a very large streak of, I believe, two years almost. Uh, champion of the South American uh, tournament, the Copa America currently. Uh, they've got Lionel Messi who is just missing this one trophy in his cabinet, which is this one. He's very hungry at the end of his career to snatch the FIFA World Cup champion. They're not only favorites to win this group, they are among the favorites to win the entire tournament. So Argentina is definitely going to come in first. I believe for second place, it's it's a toss-up between Mexico and Poland. And historically, Mexico have always made it out of their groups and unfortunately usually go out in the round of 16. I do believe history will repeat itself in the say that Mexico will once again make it out of the group in favor of Poland. Uh, Mexico-Poland is going to be huge in deciding who of those two is going to advance out of this group. They do have Lewandowski, but do they have what it takes to become second and take out Mexico? The answer is yes, but I do believe Mexico has what it takes to take on Poland as well. It's going to be very close. Uh, Saudi Arabia, I don't believe will do much in this group. Um, they might be a surprise, but I don't see it happen. So they're going to come in fourth. Uh, group G, uh, sorry, Group D is probably the most interesting group in this World Cup because every, everyone is obviously going to say France is going to go and snatch the win here. They're the reigning world champion. On paper, they have so much quality, but we're not playing on paper. They're playing on grass, and I believe the World Cup course will definitely play a part. And if you don't know what the World Cup course is, um, let me bring this to your attention. Obviously, this is just superstition and not necessarily something statistically correct to do to look at. But world champion 2006, Italy, which unfortunately didn't make it this year. I'm very bummed out about that. I always support the Italian team too. Champions in 2006. Four years later, 2010, they surprisingly got eliminated in the group stage. 2010. Please don't remind me of this, but Spain was the world champion against us in the final. Still hurts to this day. Four years later, eliminated in the group stage by us, luckily. So also a surprise exit. World champion 2014, Germany, four years later, eliminated in the group stage 2018. 2018, France champion, four years later. Is France going to be eliminated in the group stage, surprisingly? I'm just going to go and take a gamble and say they will be eliminated. Denmark is definitely my dark horse this tournament. I can't see France making it out in first or second place here. But I'm going to go for the World Cup curse uh, and say this is going to be one of the upsets of the tournament. And Australia are going to take a surprising second place in this group. Um... And make it out advancing to the round of 16 in favor of France. Australia might lose to Denmark. Snatch a win against Tunisia. Maybe even draw in a 0-0 against France. But it will be enough to advance out of the group. Um, And this is going to be one of the biggest surprises in the World Cup. That's what I'm going to play for. Denmark are going to advance as the nation in first place. Group E. Spain. Costa Rica. Germany and Japan. I believe that this is going to be between Spain and Germany. Germany are obviously looking to this time advance to the round of 16 again and not repeat what happened to them in 2018. They're very eager to get out of this group and I definitely believe that's very possible against Costa Rica and Japan. So it's going to be between Spain and Germany and I'm going to favor Spain in first place, Germany in second. Japan in third and Costa Rica in fourth. I'm pretty confident uh, about these two, but these two could be either way. So Spain, Germany is going to be one of the highlights to the group matches. Definitely a banger already in group stage. Definitely one I'm eager to watch. So um, another very exciting group to look at. So is Group F, Belgium, Canada, Morocco and Croatia. Now, everyone is probably going to say Belgium here, which have a golden generation, 
getting past its prime though if they still want to do it they'll have to do it this year i do believe it's on the downward slope unfortunately so is croatia who were uh, finalists last world cup surprisingly great team and i do believe they might snatch a win or a draw against belgium and win by goal difference croatia are going to come in first in this group belgium are still going to come out of the group but in second place which already is going to be a surprise to most people now morocco on paper is much stronger than canada i would say with cf yet i do believe canada is going to be a bit of a surprise in the tournament tournament themselves they don't have what it takes to make it out of the group i believe uh, it's been for the first time since 1986, I believe, since we've seen Canada at a World Cup. They will come in for it. Morocco, despite having quality, will finish last in this group. Uh, again, I do believe Morocco might have, might have what it takes to come out of this group. But yeah, I'm going to go with this. This, just like Argentina, is a definite first place with nine points Brazil for me. But... Then, second place, I believe, is everything to play for between Serbia and Switzerland. Serbia, obviously, they have Tadic, great squad. Switzerland, they have Shakiri. They defeated France last year in the Euros in a very surprising, amazing match. Um, and I'm going to favor Switzerland slightly over Serbia. I believe Switzerland and Serbia will both come out of this group with four points. They'll both defeat Cameroon and they'll both lose to Brazil. So it's all going to come down to the game between them uh, for second place. And that could very much be a draw. Uh, but I might, I might be able to favor Switzerland slightly. But this could go either way. Uh, I'm going to go with Switzerland and Serbia in third. Cameroon, unfortunately, are going to finish last in this group. And Group H, I see Portugal with Ronaldo taking the win here. Fun fact, Ronaldo has scored at every single end tournament since 2004. So 2004, 6 in the Euro, uh, on the World Cup, uh, 4 was the Euros, then in 8, 10, 12, all the way up to now. He always at least scored one goal and I, I do believe he's going to score against uh, South Korea and Ghana. Definitely. So Portugal is going to top this group, probably with nine points. Uh, they might struggle against Uruguay, who I believe will get second place. Um, now Uruguay Ghana is going to be very interesting as well because of the controversial game in the quarterfinal in 2010 <clears throat> when Uruguay had a hands ball with Suarez to protect the goal, letting them advance to the semi final against us, where we defeated them. Um, so Ghana are definitely looking for revenge despite that being 12 years ago it's still it feels shorter um, and South Korea on paper is the stronger nation to Ghana they're rated much higher in the FIFA uh, ranking I believe but I do believe Ghana will take third place and South Korea uh, which is an underestimated side and could make it to the third place as well I do believe it's going to be like this so that brings us to this round of 16 according to these predictions um netherlands versus wales argentina versus australia look at these games as well like spain versus belgium germany versus croatia portugal switzerland huge games we're going to start at the first one netherlands versus wales uh obviously it's hard to not be biased when you're talking about your own country but i do believe we definitely will struggle against Wales and this could very much be coming down to penalties maybe even. But if I look at the quality difference in teams like Wales, they have Gareth Bale. But do they have what it takes to defeat our current defense, which I do believe is strong enough to hold off Wales uh, and advance us to the quarterfinal. So I'm going to pick uh, my country to defeat Wales in the round of 16. Argentina versus Australia, very surprising. I think everyone is going to predict like Argentina versus Denmark here because Denmark is the obvious one to come in second here to pick. Obviously, with my predictions, it's going to go different. 
differently. Either way, I think regardless of who Argentina is going to face in this round of 16, they are going to win. They're such a quality side at the moment. I can't see Argentina getting past them. Uh, sorry, I can't see Australia getting past them. Argentina is going to advance to the quarterfinal. England versus Senegal. Um, if this comes down to penalties, I think Senegal will have what it takes. But I don't believe England will let it come down to penalties. They have the quality. Um, Senegal isn't going to be a walk in the park. Neither is it going to be for us when we play them. But I do believe England is going to advance to the quarterfinal as well. Denmark versus Mexico. Now, traditionally, Mexico comes out in the round of 16 and is eliminated. Um, and I do believe history will repeat itself. Denmark is my dark horse for this tournament. They are going to defeat Mexico. It may come down to penalties, but they are going to advance to the quarterfinals too. Spain versus Belgium. Definitely one you don't want to miss. Um, <clears throat> this could go either way. It could come down to penalties. Uh, it could go be a game with a lot of goals. I do believe Belgium might have the upper hand here. But in recent years, we defeated them twice recently. And I don't rate our country that high either. So that's why I favor Spain at the moment to advance to the next round. Uh, and unfortunately, Belgium are going to say goodbye to the tournament here in the round of 16. <clears throat> Brazil versus Uruguay. A South American game you also definitely don't want to miss. I mean, at the moment, I don't see uh, Suarez getting past Neymar and the rest in Brazil. They're such a quality squad at the moment. Brazil is going to advance to the quarterfinals. I don't believe this will come down to penalties either. Brazil is probably going to do it in regular time and get past Brazil, uh, past Uruguay. Croatia, Germany. Very interesting. In 2018, Croatia would have won against Germany. But, yeah, this is hard. I, I do believe Germany aren't at their prime, much like Belgium at the moment. Uh, yeah, they're not at their prime either, but neither is Croatia. So this could this could go... I'm going to pick Germany. They usually are such a tournament-driven... Uh, country, unlike, for example, England, who is always unlucky. Germany usually make it to the quarter or semi finals, and I'd see them defeat Croatia here. Portugal, Switzerland, another interesting game. <clears throat> Switzerland obviously eliminated France to everyone's surprise last Euros. Are they gonna have what it takes to, to eliminate Ronaldo? I don't think so. I think Portugal don't just have Ronaldo. It's not like Poland where it's just Lewandowski. Uh, it's not That's not the case, but he definitely drives the team. So does Bale in wheels. Portugal, they have quality. Bruno Fernandes. Yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, this is going to be Portugal. Um, unfortunately for Switzerland, I think they are also going to say goodbyes in the round of 16 which leave these as the last eight nations in the quarterfinal. Look at these games already. <laughs> it's so exciting to see this on paper because this, these are all four games you don't want to miss. Um, Netherlands versus Argentina. Uh, historically, we usually lose to Argentina and I don't see us get past them in this round. Our current squad against their current squad we don't have what it takes. It came down to penalties last World Cup for us, 2014. Um, but I believe we aren't at that stage. And Argentina is even better than they were in 2014 when they already were in the final. Argentina is going to advance. Um, and I and they probably do it in regular time against us too. As much as it pains me to say it, Argentina are going to advance. Yeah. Spain versus Brazil. Um, at the moment, this is actually, I'm favoring Brazil here. The South American countries are definitely coming back this year. Um, uh, we've had European champions since 2006. Um, uh, but this year I think they're going to come back strong and there's definitely going to be one South American champ, uh, champion. I don't know yet, but finalist. 
But we're going to see what happens to the other side of the bracket with England versus Denmark. I believe this happened last Euros. And I believe Denmark do have what it take, takes to defeat England. However, England has the better quality team. Christian Eriksen, uh, yeah. I believe they could cause an upset and be the surprise of the tournament and make it to the semi-finals. It's going to be Denmark uh, in a very surprising game. Yeah, let, yeah, I'm going to stick to my guns and say Denmark here. Germany versus Portugal, another big one. Uh, I, I can already picture it here. This is going to be huge. Portugal. Ronaldo, yeah. I can see this turn to like a 2-3 to three or 3-2. Three to two. Like There are a lot of goal scoring in this match. Portugal, I'm going to give the benefit of a doubt. Which brings us to the, so the last two. I definitely would have predicted these to be in the last four countries, sorry. But these two, not necessarily. I wouldn't rate them as the top European countries at the moment. But in the, the way they were drawn, I believe they can make it to the final four. Um, now let's start with a game that should have been the final for this tournament, I believe. Argentina versus Brazil. <clears throat> Already a huge game you don't want to miss. Uh, Ar Argentina beat them in the final last Copa America. But I think Brazil, who are currently rated probably number one in the world, they will unfortunately crush uh, Messi's dream of making it to the final and snatching that final trophy he's missing. It would be great to see this. A Messi versus Ronaldo final. But it's going to be Brazil. Denmark versus Portugal. Can Denmark be the Croatia of last World Cup? And be the surprising nation to make the final? I don't think so. I think I think it's going to be Ronaldo. And we have a Portuguese speaking uh, final in Qatar. Um, <clears throat> am I going to go with this? Yes, I am. Brazil versus Portugal. Very surprising, actually. Um, I do believe if this happens, it's going to be a similar final to 2018, where Brazil become the champion with a big score of 3-0 to, to, to zero or something crazy like that, 4-0. to zero. This is going to be more tight, I believe. Um, and definitely it's going to be huge to everyone speaking Portuguese. Uh and, and, and the world in general. But Brazil are going to be a South American champion for the first time since 2002. The first time in 20 years. They're going to snatch their sixth trophy and become the nation I can see become champion. Most people seem to predict Argentina, which I can also see happen. I think definitely the champion is between these two. In my predictions, I'm going to go with Brazil um, as the champion of my predictions in the FIFA World Cup. So, um, those were my predictions. I hope you enjoyed this little in-between video. Uh, leave a like and leave your comments. I think this is probably the most controversial group I did, Group D. What are your thoughts on that? Am I too superstitious to go with the World Cup course or should I just uh, put France in first there uh, as they are clearly the stronger team? What do you guys think? Um, hope you l enjoyed this little game. Hope you are also looking forward to the FIFA World Cup yourselves. If you are a fan of that. And see you guys in my regular content again next Sunday. Take care guys. Bye.